But it was the Greeks who first took this innate fascination with shape and turned it into a subject of its own. They believed that by understanding its principles, they could describe the whole world. And they gave a name to this new idea, one which meant measuring the Earth. They called it geometry. The mainstay of Greek geometry was a discovery of five perfect shapes now called the Platonic solids, after the Greek philosopher Plato, who believed these were the building blocks of nature. So we've got the tetrahedron with its four faces, the cube with its six faces, the octahedron with its eight faces, the dodecahedron, 12 faces, and the most complicated shape of all, the icosahedron with its 20 faces. Today, these are more commonly known as dice. We're all used to the familiar six-sided dice. But these four other shapes have also been used as dice for centuries. What makes them perfect for the job is that they are so regular. The faces of each are all the same shape, all meet at the same angles. It means that there's no way of telling one end from another, and that they are equally likely to land on any face. But most surprisingly, these are the only five shapes like this that can possibly exist. They're the only perfectly symmetrical solids. It's this almost magical symmetry which made the Greeks believe that these shapes were so important. They associated them with the building blocks of nature, air, fire, earth, the cosmos and water. These five shapes built the natural world. <laughs> 